guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodle. Welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited because the lovely Joey Defeat has very kindly put together a collaboration um, with some of us ladies who are here in the Junk Journal community um, to do a video kicking off kind of the new year with just um, some junk journal ideas and things and, you know, positivity and, you know, new beginnings for, you know, hopefully what's going to be a much better year than 2020. Um, so I have come along to do an art journal or, well, not a whole art journal, obviously, but I've, um, been wanting to try art journaling for a little while and I thought this year on my channel, and I really hope that you guys will join me for this, I would love to do a bit more art journaling. So, you know, I haven't really done it before, but I have been hugely inspired, um, by, uh, Barbara at 49 Dragonflies, she's also doing the collaboration, but she's done a lot more sort of collage -y type things lately, um, in the style of more art journal -y type work, I would say. Um, also kind of Artie Mays, Andrea at Artie Mays and Gail Agostinelli. I mean, they're very clever with their collaging and their, um, you know, using kind of what I would call art artists' <laughs> materials. Um, which I am very, very, very rubbish at um, using and, you know, know nothing about really. Um, so I would like to kind of really, um, you know, do a little bit more of that. I don't know how frequently it will take place. It will depend, obviously, how I get on with it and how well received it is. Obviously, if you guys are not really enjoying it and, you know, <laughs> there will be probably no point um, doing it and I will just keep it for something to do when it's just me. Um, but yeah, I would love it if you guys would join along. Um, and I know that I did mention Andrea and Gail and they are also doing this collaboration. So, um, yeah, I will link all the channels who are in the collaboration. I link them all below. So what I have got here is this is just an old recipe book. Um, it's very similar to the book that I used for my glue book. Um, and I know that I did say about the book that I will use for my next glue book. This is not one of those. I've still kept one by for my next glue book. So this is just another kind of very similar size and shape book that I had. And I thought I'm going to use this to do my art journal. So I'm just going to kind of go to random pages. <laughs> They're now glued together. Random pages, just as it, you know, the feeling kind of suits me and just do um, some spreads. So this is my very first ever attempt at an art journal um, spread. And I did this just a few days ago. I had a lovely time doing this. And literally, I'm just going to, you know, embrace the kind of, um, well, the mood, I guess, and just do whatever the mood takes me. I'm not going to have this all matchy-matchy. It's not, you know, I'm not going for a matchy-matchy journal or anything like that. I'm just doing kind of art journaling, led by the heart and, um, you know, going with the flow as it suits me on the day. So yeah, I hope that you like my first spread. I had a really nice time. It's got this vintage kind of element here. I've got some gold um, edging around the page and then lots and lots of different things that I've just popped on here. So yeah, I hope that, um, you know, you like it and let's just have a go at doing another one. So I'm not going to probably work in this book sort of in any particular order. So I might just kind of flick through and just pick another couple of pages, just much further into the book and just do a spread there. This is partially because obviously I'm assuming that my style will change, you know, maybe I will learn new techniques and things like that. And so I don't want it to follow an order where you kind of just see, oh look, she's doing this now. You know, I want it to be a bit more random than that. So I've just picked another couple of pages here. And I've brought along this lovely book here. It's called In My Garden, M.E. Eldridge. Um, it's a super cute book. I managed to pick it up from a secondhand store. And it's just got the most gorgeous images. It's from 1983. So although it is vintage, I mean, it's not hugely old. But look at the beautiful images that are in here. They are just Oh, just beautiful, aren't they? I mean, my only problem is with this book is actually, you know, can I bring myself to actually use them? Because a lot of them, obviously, they, well, that one's okay, actually. But I mean, a lot of them do have lovely images on the other side, which then, like, for instance, here and this, I would be very torn knowing which side of the page to actually use. 
Um, that said, you know, let's kind of go for one. So I may use this page because this one actually hasn't really got elements that I'm, you know, desperately wanting to use. So I'm just going to tear this out and I'm thinking kind of the yellows and things, you know, it's a nice theme for kind of new beginnings and things like that. So I'm going to kind of embrace these yellow birds, I think. So do I want to keep them in their entirety or do I want to kind of split them? Because I'm going to try and do a double page spread. So, right, I'm going to put those to one side. Now I've also got these die cut pieces. Now these are from Fabrica. I've had these in my stash for quite a long time. So again, I thought this would be an ideal opportunity to use some of these. They've got some yellows actually, which just, I must have been having a yellow feeling this morning because I didn't do this intentionally, but look at that. That's just really perfect, isn't it? So yeah, I'm going to use those. And then I've just dug out some um, little bits and pieces here from my scraps bin just to use for collage. Oh look, more yellow. That's really weird, isn't it? I must have been literally feeling the yellow. I actually think I'd pulled that out for the coffee dyed side rather than the yellow, but yeah, very strange. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just going to get literally putting a few bits down on the page to get me started, I think. So I'm not sure which side I prefer. I do absolutely love the kind of, um, you know, more tightly type part. I'm going to just stick this down in its entirety. So oops, let's hope that my glue is not going to misbehave today. It's been much better since being in this bottle, I have to say, but there we go. I mean, collage generally is quite a sort of new thing for me. Um, you know, I'm not particularly brilliant or fast at doing collage and things. And I do love the, you know, the um, process of doing the collage. I find it quite relaxing and, um, you know, really quite fun. And obviously it's a great way to use up some scraps and things like that. But I mean, it's not really kind of something that I've got a lot of, you know, experience in doing and things like that. But definitely, again, that's something that I have felt very inspired this year. I mean, I know obviously Rachel from Roxy Creations, she's another person who's going to be joining in this collaboration. Um, you know, she does collaging kind of all the time and she just makes it look so effortless. Um, so yeah, I don't know whether I'll ever, never reach her levels or anything, but you know, it's just really nice to see all different people's styles and things like that. So I would quite like to do a bit more, you know, in terms of collaging and things this year as well. So, so I'm just going to literally just get a few pieces down onto the page. So I hope that everybody had a lovely new year and filled with, you know, optimism and good feeling for the new year I know I've said this before I mean I don't tend to kind of make new year's resolutions or anything like that um so yeah I haven't this year either um but I have of course you know it's a time for reflection sometimes isn't it so I have of course been thinking you know where would I like to go with my channel and my kind of cre you know creativity and things so um yeah, I'm kind of, yeah, in a reflective mood, I guess I would kind of call it. Now, this has got this little um, hole. This is some scrap bit paper, which I've obviously stamped on the back. It's been coffee dyed. But I rather like the hole there. And think that, you know, quite adds something to the, to the moat. But I might prefer this kind of more as a sort of, you know, slightly higher piece, if you see what I mean. Because I think it's actually quite a nice piece to um, have as more of a focal point. So now the question is, have I bought along enough papers or am I going to have to dig around now for more? I might have to dig around for more. Don't really want to kind of have that there. I've also got this gorgeous stamped frame. So I might just tear this out. So yeah, I mean, last year I know that I kicked off the year by doing a seven days of my favourite projects revisited series, um, just kind of re, 
going over some of the projects that I had done in the previous year. And I loved doing that and actually touch wood, you know, I think it was quite well received because I mean, of course, there were lots of people who hadn't seen the videos first time round and so they were catching it for the first time. Um, so yeah, it actually was, you know, quite, quite a good way to kind of start the new year. So I do intend on doing that this year as well. It's just a case of, um, you know, having time to film it. Unfortunately, I mean, in an ideal world, of course, I would have started the new year, you know, <laughs> with that video kind of going up on like the first or second. It's just timing wise, really. I just haven't had a chance to to do that. So yeah, unfortunately, although I do still intend on doing that as a bit of a series, it's just going to have to, you know, not go up for a couple of weeks or, you know, however long. I mean, once um, my daughter goes back to school, then hopefully I'll be back in the zone and kind of filming, filming like normal. And um, yeah, I'll be able to kind of get that done. But for the time being, um, it just won't be able to go up quite, you know, quite as quickly as I'd hoped really. I don't know really why I'm worrying so much about what I'm sticking down here because I'm going to use some gesso and that's another thing that I would really like to use a bit more of this year is just become a little bit more comfortable with things like that because, you know, again, that feels very much outside of my comfort zone. So I'd like to just feel a bit more comfortable with things like that. Um, what else do I have planned for the new year? I mean, going forward, as I say, I would very much like to do more of this kind of art journaling. Um, alongside the junk journals, I don't mean replace junk journals at all, because I absolutely love, you know, everything junk journaly. Um, but just something a bit different every now and then. So like I say, the frequency of these types of things will just depend on you know, how well received they are. Um, but yeah, I would quite like to incorporate some things like this a little bit. So let's put this down here. And um, what else did I think? Of course, my Tidy Fridays will continue. And I just want to say a massive thank you to everybody who has been so amazing with my tidy Fridays. I mean, tidying is definitely not my favorite thing to do. <laughs> I would far rather be crafting, of course. Um, and so all that progress that I've made, you know, I would not have got any of that done if it weren't for you guys, um, you know, with your encouragement and, you know, lots of you kind of joining in, doing your organizing and tidying as well. So yeah, thank you so, so much because although I don't like tidying, you know, the results, are amazing and you do feel fantastic you know once you've kind of done a big bulk tidy you know it's amazing how much better that you do feel about your area so um yeah thank you so much so of course they will continue how long they will continue for is you know I'm not too sure because of course you know once my area is tidy then I won't really have more to do but having said that due to the nature of what we're doing, getting, you know, super messy all the time and getting things out all the time. Of course, there'll be just maintenance continually. So, um, although we might not have a necessarily a tidy Friday as such, there will be kind of maintenance to do. And, um, you know, of course I've got my scrap bin, which is where all these papers have come from. And so it will be a case of trying to keep on top of my scraps and things like that. So, there will be ongoing things, definitely. Definitely, definitely. So, um, yeah. But, I mean, certainly it's it's going to continue for a few more weeks because, of course, I've got more things to, to clear first. Um, but, yeah, so that's fantastic. We've got, obviously, our mass making that, you know, that will definitely continue. I mean, when I first started the mass making... Again, I re you know, I really started it because mass making was not my favourite thing. You know, making the same item time and time again. Oh, the thought of that just bored the life out of me. But actually over time, you know, the benefits have kind of outweighed the <laughs> the negativity. I now actually 
I'm almost kind of hooked on mass making things. And, you know, actually, oops, I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac for this because um, this is actually stamped onto doily and I don't want the glue showing through. Um, yeah, I'm almost, almost like hooked now on the concept of mass making. So whenever I make anything now, I kind of feel almost compelled to make tons of them or several of them. So it's obviously changed my mindset a bit, which is, you know, actually really quite exciting. Definitely, you know, for me, it makes making the journal so much quicker because even if I only use one or two things that have been pre-made, every little helps. And so, you know, I really do find that whole, you know, having a few things done very helpful. Right, I'm going to add some gesso now to the page. So let's put this here. And I'm just going to take some book page to kind of use almost, oh, actually, actually, I had lots of people saying to me, I'll oh, use your palette. So perhaps I should use this because I always forget to use my little palette here to the side. So let me pour some gesso on, oops, can't even get it open. <laughs> That's not a good start, is it? If I can't even open the, the tube. Right, let's put that there. Okay, what type of brush shall I use? Um, okay, let's use this one. So I might just spray my gesso, just so it's a little bit more, you know, movable. Okay, I'm just going to paint it on randomly. Like that. I want to do it a bit thicker here because, of course, I didn't cover up that grey section of the page and then down here as well over here and then just some here okay okay so I quite like how that looks I might go over this in a moment when it's dried. Okay, so let's just wipe this gesso off. If I just bring in a wet, wet wipe. Yeah, so the mass making will definitely continue. I mean, I can't believe it because actually, I can't remember, I've forgotten what number we're up to, but it's something like 76 or something. Crazy, crazy, crazy number. And, you know, I mean, I honestly, when I started them, I thought, well, how will we even get to maybe 26, let alone 76? I mean, of course, now we are coming to the point where we may have to have repeats, um, you know, because, you know, I have to be honest and say I'm, you know, running out of ideas. Um, but, you know, that's fine. Um, I'm actually shocked that we've got as far as we have. So... They will definitely continue, but as I say, it may be some repeats now. And, you know, I think that's okay because I don't know about you guys, but I mean, some of my things that I use often, say like the matchbooks, bo matchbox books, why well, I can never say that's beyond me, you know, they've actually now, you know, run out. So, I mean, actually, some of those things that we made early on, you know, possibly you guys also need a revisit because maybe you've also run out of the ones that you made. Um, you know, also obviously some people maybe didn't catch it first time round and would maybe find, you know, it interesting. And the other thing is, of course, some of the things that we've made, you know, there might be different ways of making them now. You know, I might have kind of perfected my, my way of making them, you know. So I think it will still be really, really useful, even if they are, you know, revisiting um some of the ideas i don't know whether we would do it kind of literally a rerun in order or whether we'd do it more random i'm not really too sure um i haven't really kind of got as far as thinking that and i know that i had said about doing a mass make of covers and i haven't forgotten that you know because lots of people said they would love to do that i just didn't want to do it while my daughter was home because that's quite an involved mass make and of course she's been joining in with the mass making so um I do intend on doing that but it's probably going to be something you know once she's gone back to school 
Right, just kind of put in some things around on the page. I mean, I just love that how that looks already, to be honest. It's really, really pretty, isn't it? So I'm going to pull in some of these little die cut pieces. I still can't get over that these are just such a perfect match. I mean, honestly, that just was like it's just meant to be, wasn't it? They're really brilliant match. Now, these ones, these are from Fabrica. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Fabrica. Um, now, they're actually quite sort of, can you see that? Where they have been sort of cut out. I mean, I personally, I don't really like it when they're not sort of shaped around. So I'm just going to kind of cut in a little bit more. So that I don't mind it having the white edge, but I don't really necessarily like it just cut it's almost like a circle, um, you know, it's not actually shaped like the flower at all, which I find a bit strange, but, so I'm just going to cut those in if I'm going to use any of these. Oh, they're just perfect on here, aren't they? Absolutely perfect. Yeah, really, oh, <laughs> I just, oh, the coincidence of, picking these out and picking out that page from the book that's just so strange I mean presumably when I flicked through the book my subconscious kind of remembered I'd pulled out these flowers and said oh look at that page I don't know but wow it's just brilliant so I think what else I'm going to do is just do a little bit of stamping and things in the background okay so I've dug out my stencils and um I've also got out I've got out Wild Honey and Rusty Hinge, and that's another thing. I'm going to use my ink pads a lot more. Um, I did do a few videos towards the later part of last year using a lot of ink pads. But because then we had October and, um, you know, so then I was doing my autumn stuff. And then it was suddenly Halloween, so I was doing Halloween-y things. And then, of course, it was Christmas, so I was doing Christmas things. Those videos haven't gone up, so they will be going up. But that's probably another thing to be aware of is those videos may seem really bizarre because, um, well, I mean, hopefully they won't seem too bizarre. But I just want to make you aware that there might be places where I'm talking about things that seem completely strange. Like I may be saying the, about the weather or something and it might not really tie in with what the weather's doing at all. It's because I filmed them so far back, like back in September. So, um, yeah, just kind of want to <laughs> want to just point that out. If I'm talking about things that seem really not relevant at all, it's because I had filmed those videos and then sort of they got shelved basically because of other things coming up. Just seasonal stuff, really. So, yeah. But there's lots of quite fun projects, but... I then, you know, was busy doing other things. So I didn't really kind of play around too much with my inks. But definitely I want to make much more use of using the inks and things. Because, um, you know, they're really fun to use. So, yeah. And again, actually watching others, I know that again, you know, Barbara at 49 Dragonflies, she uses quite a few different coloured inks. And, you know, it's really fun. And Andrea at Artie Mays, again, you know, she also uses quite a few different colours and things. So, um, yeah, I'm taking kind of inspiration, really, from them. Right, I'm going to ink around here to just make him stand out a little bit more. I mean, obviously, you know, the main thing is that, you know, you enjoy what you do and, um, you know, you're really having a nice time crafting because, of course, it should be fun and, you know, should be kind of in a bit of an escapism, really. So I'm hoping that that's what I'm going to bring with these sort of art journaling type episodes. So hopefully they will just be super relaxing, super fun, you know, maybe inspire you to start your own art journal. And, you know, of course, they're going to be a good way of using things up because we're not going to be guided by any kind of tying them in with the rest of the journal or anything like that. So, yeah, I'm hoping it's going to be a nice, 
a nice relaxing thing to do and a kind of you know bit of a sort of mindfulness practice because we're just going to be kind of in the zone just enjoying the process and you know just being led by what we fancy doing at the time really now I've got this big white piece here so I don't know whether to actually fussy tear that out I might have to because that just looks a bit too white for me so just going to tear that down like that okay and also another plan for the new year um, on my channel. I would really like to use a lot more of my vintagey type things. So a lot more of my book images and things, you know, and, um, you know, just generally some of the things that I've been buying since starting junk journals. And then, of course, hoarding. So perhaps I should just expand that to say all of my hoarded supplies generally. Um you know, because, yeah, it would be good to obviously start using some of those things, wouldn't it, that I've previously been hoarding. Right, so, going to have him over there. So, shall I glue him down now? Or might I want some things poking out, or some more stamping? Oh, what did I do with that other piece? Here we go. Because we talked about having this somewhere, didn't we? Now... And we have him there. I don't want it to sort of mirror or, you know, mimic what's on the other side. I wonder, just shape-wise, whether I might be better having this one here. And this one here. Yeah, that just works a little bit better. Unfortunately, it is still kind of mirror mirroring what's going on. But perhaps if I put it like that. Yeah, I like that, I think. So this one here, I might just tear the bottom down because I'm not over keen on the straight edges. But strangely, I might leave the straight edge on this side. I think. Yeah, I quite like that. Now, do I want to ink this up? And although I fought along the rusty hinge and the wild honey, I'm now thinking they were maybe not the great you know the greatest choice so I'm going to just put those back I'm loving having my labels on my inks being able to see at a glance what color things are oh my gosh that's the noisiest motorbike sorry about that let's have this one peeled paint I think would be better so I'm thinking maybe just to go round here now Oh, again, let's try something a bit different. So just going to put some of this on my little palette. Bit of water there. Now, do I dare pick this up with the brush and kind of go around? Well, it's not really working because my brush is now stiff from the gesso. Let me put that down to the side so as I remember to take that down and wash it right let's just try a different brush perhaps i'll try a bit more water should really move that flower before i wreck that, wreck that okay so we've just got a little bit of color going on on the, on here i thought I mean, you know, this is very much going to be a learning thing for me. And um, like I say, I mean, these kinds of things are not my, you know, <laughs> my thing at all. I'm very, very, very new to this type of thing. So, you know, all um, tips and advice greatly appreciated. But, you know, as we kind of always say, I mean, just because you haven't really generally done things, it doesn't mean you can't, you know, it doesn't mean you shouldn't. So if you fancy having a go at something, you know, just have a go at it because that's the only way to kind of learn and overcome, you know, your kind of boundaries, isn't it, really? So I'm thinking I might quite like some green stamping. Now, before I do any green stamping, I think I'd best check how bright that that would look. So I've got these bow bunny stamps here and I did actually use this big swirl on this page as well looks really pretty doesn't it 
So I don't necessarily want to use the same one, but maybe I could use this small corner one. So let's just have a look and see how bright that ink would look. So I'll just... Okay, it looks okay. It's quite sort of subtle. So I think what I'll do, just ink that up nicely. And then I think if we have that there and the bird here, so I might have, yeah, I might put it here. Oh, that's so pretty, isn't it? Right, okay. So I might get this down onto the page now. It's very soggy now because of course I've wet that. So perhaps I should dry that first. Let me go and dry that, hold on. Okay, so that's dry now. So I'm just going to glue this down onto the page. Yeah, this is very, very relaxing, I must say. So, um, you know, if you haven't done anything like this before, I would really, um, you know, really recommend it. If it's something that appeals to you and you think that you, you know, might fancy doing it, just get out any old book and um, give it a start because it's really quite fun to do. And it definitely kind of gets you just working and thinking in a different way, which is lovely. Right, so is he the right bird? Did I put him that side? Just going to check that I don't want them the other way round. I guess he could go there. Hang on, hang on. No, right. Let's put that back up there, I think. That bird down there. And yeah, okay, so I'm going to stick with it how I had it originally. Now I'm just going to bring in my little hole reinforcers and just take one that's already pre-inked. And then I'm just going to stick that over the top of this hole, just for a bit of kind of detail down there. Okay. Like that. I mean, actually, sadly, that doesn't really show up as much as I'd hoped, but never mind. So, going to have that there. Now, do we want some postage stamps? Not that one with the red, definitely not. This is my little glass of sort of green shaded stamps. They're all totally the wrong colour green so far. Let's see if I've got some more. Oh. They're all the wrong colour. Oh, here we go. Mm, that's very lime. Maybe a brown is quite nice. Um, hmm. I'll just see what other green ones I have. Would you believe that they're all the wrong colour? I mean, out of all those green stamps, you would have thought there would have been some, wouldn't you, that were a better match but they're all actually pretty more sort of turquoisey greens mm, perhaps I'll have to go with the brown yeah I think I'll have to go with the brown who'd have thought it because I actually thought I would have tons of um, stamps in that kind of shade that one's about the best one that I've found so far Right, let's put that one out. Okay. So where would we want the stamps if we're going to have them? Oh, I'm not sure now. Not sure. Maybe like that. Yeah, maybe down there. So let's just put those two down. Okay. 
Alright, that one. <clears throat> and then this one here. Like that. Okay, I'm still resisting on sticking the bird down just in case I do, you know, want to do anything different. Right, so this one here, I'm wondering, do I want to ink that frame up or do I want to do anything else with that frame? I mean, like I say, this is, you know, a bit of a departure for me or a bit of a kind of new thing, I guess, for me. Not really departure, but new thing for me. So um, it's just a case of kind of you know, thinking of, oh, what, what other techniques are out there that I don't know about or, you know, haven't used before and things. So, and that's why I'm really hope, you know, hoping that over this kind of journey, my art journal would just really evolve and kind of come to life in different ways. So, yeah, I like it like that. So let's just glue that down. Okie dokie. Oh, and you know what else I haven't <laughs> haven't put down? I've not used any of those flowers yet. I'm in danger of forgetting all about them. Okay. So that one there. And the bird here. Right, what did I do with those flowers? I know I moved one so as it didn't get drenched. Here we go. That's quite pretty, isn't it? Let's just bring in the others. Oh, they're really pretty, aren't they? Now I'm wondering, do I need to kind of ink them up around the edges? I think I do. It's absolutely freezing today. I've got three layers on. I've got my chunky cardigan. This is just my, my cardigan that I kind of have in the house. It doesn't really tend to go anywhere. I just wear it inside. But yeah, it's very, very cold. So I definitely needed to kind of have some extra layers. Yesterday, we'd gone for a walk in the middle of the day and um, it was zero degrees in the middle of the day. So... It's pretty freezing. Pretty freezing. Okay, so that's that one. I'm just going to ink this one. There we go. I'm filming this video, it's New Year's Eve and um, it's my son's birthday today. So he's still in bed asleep. So I thought I'm going to quickly come and film Oops. Okay, I'm going to be brave now and I'm going to glue my my bird down. Okay. There we go. Just pop him down there. So, I mean, it's a bit like doing our glue book journal, really, I suppose. Um, but a bit more kind of, you know, filled in, I think, really. Okay, so we've got him there. Now, do I want some green or anything kind of inked around the edges of this page? Or do we think that would be just too much green? Obviously, here I've still got that quite visible part here. So I wouldn't mind covering that up with something. I've got some washi tape here. So I might just use a bit of washi tape. I don't very often use washi tape. Not because I have anything against it, really. But I don't really have sort of a big selection of washi tapes. And, you know, I don't really find them 
brilliant because they don't sort of stay stuck down always, do they? Well, I mean, I guess that's the point of them, but, you know, so I'm going to just add a bit of fabric tack underneath this to help it stay stuck because um, I do want it to stay stuck on this particular thing. There we go. Oops, I've stuck it now going off the page, so let me move it down. There we go, that's better. Okay, so that looks really pretty, doesn't it? And it's just filled in that gap and covered up that bit of book page that I didn't really like there. So I love how that page looks. Right, let's do this side now. So I've got a much bigger flower here. So again, I'm just going to cut this down. Getting rid of those kind of white, you know, just... Well, they're not really shaped around the flower particularly at all. So just, just going in a little bit more. Okay, okay. Like that. Okay, nearly done. And so I'm very excited to see everybody else's videos. Obviously, I haven't seen anyone else's videos yet. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited to see the other ladies who are collaborating on this see their videos too so you know it's a nice way to start the year with lots of positivity and um, you know some upbeat projects and things isn't it okay right so I'm just going to ink this one up now Yeah, it looks like a beautiful day, but very, very cold. The sun's shining, it looks very, very pretty. You know, frosty, frosty and cold, but very sunny and nice. They're just my favourite types of days. So, um, yeah, hopefully it's going to be a nice one. Right, I'm thinking have that flower down there. It covers up that piece of the, the book that I'm wanting to cover as well. So I'm going to put my bird slightly higher there. <clears throat> Okay. Like that. Oops. And I'm just going to press him down. Now, wondering do I want another one of those stamped corners or anything? Or there is a tiny butterfly in that little stamp set, which perhaps that might be nice. So this flower, I'm going to just stick there. Yeah, it was good to get these die cut pieces out because I mean, I've had them in my stash for quite a long time and I just haven't, you know, I hadn't even opened them. So um, must get using some things. Okay, so that's lovely because that just covers up that space where I had the two papers kind of not really meeting, which, you know, to me then it just didn't really feel very pleasing to the eye. Okay. Right, let's mop this green up now before I get that anywhere else. Now I've got this postage stamp, which we could have somewhere, but I don't think she, you know, really is needed there actually, so I'm not going to have that. So let's put that corner stamp away and just going to get out this teeny butterfly. As you can see, I've not even used this yet. So let me see if I've got a reasonable stamp block that I can use for that. Oops. <clears throat> oh, no, I don't have a reasonable one. They're all pretty filthy. Okay, right, let's just 
again I'm just going to stamp it onto the book okay right so I'm just going to have it just here oh that's so pretty isn't it and there may be one up here as well they are super pretty aren't they my daughter's just beside me do you like those gorgeous butterflies yeah. pretty aren't they okay hold on a second okay sorry about that my daughter was then just telling me or you know saying when are, when is everyone getting up and going down right shall we have a word on here so i might just have here new things because that's what this is all about isn't it new things new beginnings new year new techniques and new new adventures so where should we have this oh it's one of those pieces that actually i quite like it everywhere so do we want it over here or over here i think it looks quite nice there actually so again actually i will just ink that up so as it stands out a little bit more Okay, there we go, and then we just glue that one down. Oh, that looks so pretty, doesn't it? Yeah, I really, really like that. Uh, now, do we want anything else? I mean, I know you're probably thinking, well, there's not a lot else is going to even be squished onto there, but, and I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure you're right. Um, let me just check that we don't want any more of those yellow flowers. Uh, I mean, we could have some more yellow flowers. What do you think? Got this teeny one. Again, just cutting that around so it's got less of a white edge. Okay. So again, let me just ink that up. So sorry, my arm keeps reaching past the camera. Yeah, I think I quite like it with a touch more yellow, strangely enough, actually. I thought perhaps, you know, it would just look too yellow, but actually, I think it's quite nice. Hmm. I could just like smother the whole page now with yellow flowers, couldn't I? Let me just put that one down there. <clears throat> Okay, so I love how that looks. Now, the only other thing really is, do I want to ink around the edges a little bit more? So, should we try a little bit of vintage photo, just like here, on this edge? So, just go in with that a bit. It's quite nice, isn't it? And then we might just do a little bit over here. Okay. And then I just need to trim down this edge because my pages or my papers are overhanging on the edge. So I'm just going to trim those down like that. And therefore I just just will ink up just these little bits too so what do you think should I be really brave and do a bit of inking in the green or do we think that's just going to be too too much oh let's be brave let's go for it oh gosh let's hope I don't spoil it so 
It's always a bit nerve-wracking, isn't it, when you kind of do something a bit different. So just having a look to see if I've got an ink pad or anything with green on the go. Sorry for the noise. I'm just rummaging through my little drawer. My little drawer that's completely and utterly chock-a-block with stuff. It's also in need of the Tidy Friday treatment, definitely. Right, got this one, which is blues rather than greens, but hopefully it will, will do the trick. So let's just... Hmm, okay. Right, where do we think? Where do we think? Shall we have a bit down here? quite nice isn't it maybe a bit here oops sorry about that noise with my scissors maybe a little bit up here that's still very wet so it's now not looking great got to be said and maybe just a little bit here Maybe just a bit here in the middle to kind of join the two halves together. Okay, so I think that's probably my spread done. I don't think it needs anything else. Um, I really had a nice time doing it. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you found it relaxing and, you know, something really nice and different. And like I say, you know, I'm really hoping to do more of these types of things on my channel. Um, you know, more kind of art journal -y type things as well as the junk journals. Um, and yeah, as I say, I will link everybody's videos below who's joining in the collaboration with our junk journal idea and the sort of positive vibes and, you know, new start to, to the new year. Um, so I hope that you enjoy everybody's videos and, um, yeah, thank you so much to Joey DeFee for putting the collaboration together. I really feel, you know, very humbled and, um, you know, really thrilled to have been invited to join in. So thank you so much and I hope you all have a fantastic day. Happy New Year, guys, and see you guys soon. Thanks then. Bye.